Well, hello there, everyone. My name is Vince. Welcome to my 60 Seconds Reatomized Gameplay Series for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got no idea what I'm about to get into here. I do hope that you all do enjoy. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Essentially, though, what we need to do is gather up as many, I guess, resources and family members as we can within 60 seconds and head to the bomb shelter and hopefully survive our days out in peace. But is that going to happen? I doubt it. Either way, let's kick this game off right now. I'm gonna go to new game, here we go. This game is new on Steam, I think, right now. It's about like $10, I think, dude, honestly. Uh, what's this, select the type of atomic adventure. Atomic drill, the tutorial, 100% approved by the establishment, sure. Uh, learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Begin adventure. Why not? Let's do it. Medkit. For all injuries, ranging from paper cuts to decapitations. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention and you might just make it. Here we go. Hold the grab control and skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will drop an extra nuke. <laughs> What's the grab control? How do I grab? No time to waste. Get moving and head to the marked point in front of you. Move it. Well, I'm already here. Oh, I like that gun on the wall as well. Thump. <laughs> Good job, there might be just hope for you yet. Uh, just keep those legs moving. Boop, 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 boop. Move next to the yellow X. Okay, where's the yellow X now? Where the hell's the yellow X? Knowing me, I've probably just gone straight past the yellow X, everyone. Legit. Surely it can't be that far. In here, maybe? Nope. <laughs> where's the yellow X? Have I missed it already? There it is. <laughs> I was about to say, what is going on? Uh, not bad, but you better be in good shape. There is more where that came from. What, running around the house? So I think, yeah, if you run into stuff, it does cause some issues. <laughs> Fun time is over. It's a matter of life and death now. Go find your son, Timmy, ASAP. Timmy! Uh, where are you? There you are. Good thing you know the layout of your house. <laughs> I bet you the Reds know it too. I actually got no idea about my house, mate. Uh, family comes first. Grab Timmy. He will be the first to visit your cozy shelter, okay? Got Timmy. Where am I going? That's it, consider taking the other family members too. I'll leave the exact priority to you. All right, we'll take you as well. Can I take the, the girl? Nah, Timmy is safe, but you need to find food to keep the shelter stocked. Well, I can't grab anyone else, so where's the food? Aha, soup. Got some soup? Can I grab the knife or anything? No, soup, an excellent choice. This can sustain a family of four, and I couldn't read the rest. <laughs> Every American atomic shelter also needs a supply of water. Hunt for some bottles. Okay. Uh, would bottles be in here at all? This is the... Oh, is, it, is that a bottle of water? That was easy. That's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, Buster. What's the problem? You can only carry so much, and every item weighs at least one slot. Uh, you need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more. Oh, okay. We need to find the hatch now. Where's the hatch? Drop whatever you're carrying down into the shelter. Whenever near the hatch, drop all items that you have. There's a good chance they will survive the fall. Okay. Oh, bingo. You got yourself a small stockpile of, uh, pile of food and even little Timmy. Okay, I'm just throwing Timmy down the shelter. No one knows how long you'll be staying down there, so we need a radio. Where's the radio? Here it is. Beautiful. That's it. Nothing's more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. That is correct. Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scale your surroundings, but after it goes off, you need to start packing. This reminds me of Fallout, dude. <laughs> Grab five items, drop them into the shelter. Okay. An incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Well, I definitely need the wife. I mean, can I grab my whole family or not? Collect at least five more items and family members in the next 60 seconds and make sure you find yourself close to the shelter when the time is up. Okay. But what else do I really need? I want that gun on the wall. Oh, we're gone. It's on everyone. Okay, I got two soups. Uh, I, got a, I got a gun. And I can't grab the, the daughter. That's okay. Got the daughter. Done. Is that five items? I can keep going. Okay, I can keep, I can keep going here. Suitcase. Can't pick up the wife. That's all right, I'll grab some more water. Quick, quick, quick. It's not looking good for the wife right now, everyone. The wife seems to be in some trouble. What else can I grab? Some more food? Definitely want food. Oh, no room. Oh, no. 
No, 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 <laughs> gotta keep running. You've got enough supplies, collect some more if you want. Remember to get close to the shelter. Okay. Okay, got two waters. Anything else around here? It's getting pretty bad now. What's that down there I just got? A little book. Quick, quick, quick. I need to get the wife. I need to get the wife. Wife, wife, wife. Gotcha. Yes, I did it. Okay, I made it. That's it, I'm done. I don't think I can get anything else. I got the gun, didn't I? I'm just making sure I got that gun. I just moved that face cam down a bit there as well. There we go. Time's up. Now you know how to get what you need to survive, but your training is far from over. Okay. I'll see you downstairs for survival training, at ease. Okay, that was pretty straightforward, but I don't know how good we just would have survived then, everyone. Is our family going to make it? I guess we'll find out in a second. Will it show us? Soup can be saw, uh, stored up for 737 years. Okay. Day one, yes, we do get to see what happens, cool. We have a whole bunch of soup, a gun, scout book there. Day one, you made it to the shelter, congratulations. But the drill's not over yet. You end up here with whatever or, and whoever you brought with you, nothing else. You'll need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and the, uh, in its inhabitants. When your survival journal is not open yet or hidden. Uh, first things first, we must ration food and water. If you don't wine and dine yourself and the folks you've brought with you, and the folks you brought with you. Look, the problem is if I feed my family, how long is the food gonna last for? I'm a bit scared now. Uh, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day. Great. Okay, soup. Who will be eating today? <laughs> uh, I guess, I don't want everyone to eat, do I? Do I want everyone to eat? I guess everyone can have water. Oh, it's gonna be hard. All right, look, dad won't have water, but the kids, yeah, okay, the dad's gonna be a hero here, I think, everyone. And maybe the mum. The mum doesn't need the food either. Do you know what? Get the, get the kids first. The kids first. Yep. Yeah, okay, kids first. That's it, I'm done. Now what? Uh, since this is your first day down here, you need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation, hum, can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow. Night, night. Okay. Here we go, what's gonna happen now? Day two. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Everyone's alive and happy. Good. Soup's on the table there. Good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it, since you'll be staying here for a while. <laughs> what a game this is gonna be. We'll start today's activities with rationing, since you need to do it every day. But after that, we will move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen. There is a risk you'll run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you'll be gone sooner. Then you can say corn dog. <laughs> so sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring more supplies. <gasps> no. That's going to be interesting. Uh, you can do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Uh, Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Okay, so make sure the kids are hungry. We better eat something this time around, and I think this time, should we get the water this time, everyone? The kids just eat with no water. I feel bad doing this, eh? I feel pretty bad, but... Okay, should we go outside? Uh, sending people out to the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, then you can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Send healthy and well-fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time, Let's give it a try. This time you will need to send someone out, but if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. All right, daddy, you're going out, buddy. He's gonna be so mad. Day three. 
What did dad get? Where's dad? Okay, this is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while. But in the event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that will test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. Oh dear. We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully we'll stay that way. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Okay, so dad's gone at the moment. Uh, who's hungry? The kids? Kids are right. Mum will be fine. Give, it some, give the mum some water. She'll be okay. Actually, no, did the kids... The kids... Hmm. Who didn't eat last time? I think the parents didn't eat last time, did they? So we'll swap it up a bit. Question mark, day three. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario. You come across your kid's hamster who is in some bizarre way found it, what? Found its way to the shelter? Oh, the, the hamster's here. Okay. The kids are obviously going to love it and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now, it's up to you. Do you cook him? <gasps> Do we cook the hamster, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, dude, I'll cook the hamster up. Day four. Oh, I feel bad. I wonder how the kids feel about that. Good choice. Everyone had a bite, and fresh meat will not be easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can, uh, you can get to eat. Believe me, you'll find yourself and your family in much more dire circumstances than this and there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. <laughs> there isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Uh, she is, Dolores is fine, uh, and she's having, I guess, as well as you can be in a tiny shelter. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy, he's doing just fine. Okay, we're slowly running out of supplies here. Oh dear. This is a bit of a situation now. Food, food, food. No one gets water today. Day four, you might be faced with decisions that require you to, to use equipment. However, sometimes you might find you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play shadow bunnies using the flashlight? I guess listen to the radio. Okay. Day five. Is dad back? Yes, he is. Dad is back, everyone. How'd you go, dad? We're always cut up. Dad's injured. Ted, hurt and hungry. Mary Jane, fine. Timmy, fine. Dolores, fine. The radio is critical to establishing communications with the US Army, as, uh, as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. If you get lucky, maybe you'll catch some music too. Good news everyone, the expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't wanna get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of the first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. Okay. So let's use the first aid kit on Ted. And Ted is hungry, he's been on expedition, so he's all right, but Ted did not bring back any supplies from what I can see right now. So this is a bit of a situation. Uh, what are we gonna do right now? I don't want poor Timmy to starve, but then I don't want Dolores to starve either. Or oh, that, is that Mary Jane? Dolores is the mum. Oh, Dolores is the mum. I thought Dolores was the, um, the kid. Hmm. I don't want the kid to starve though. Who do I, what are you doing here, dude? Because Ted needs to be fit, like he needs to be all right here. Because he's hungry. He was out scavenging. The mum has nothing. I guess I can give the mum some food. What a situation we're in now. All right, day five. You need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was quite a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance at getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. 
Survive the atomic drill, that's the mission. Okay. Oh boy. It's getting a bit more intense now, isn't it, everyone? Oh, we're out of rations. Oh boy. We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time you were only asked to pick one unlucky, bar one. <laughs> Brave volunteer to save the day. This time you'll also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted's injuries are all fixed. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully we'll stay that way. Nothing new with Timmy. We're out of uh, resources here, everyone. Like, we're completely out of resources right now. We've got a situation going on. <laughs> oh boy. Now, do we let the parents survive? Because the kids really can't do that much. I mean, if the parents die, they said that the mission's over, right? Anything can be useful outside and some items even improve scavengers' chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead, pick something. Uh, what to take outside? Nothing. Who should go outside? Dolores this time, I reckon. About time. Ted was out last time, so now Dolores can go outside. Simple as that. Morning, people. This is day seven, by the way. Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the US military and await a rescue. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. There isn't enough food to go around. Even Ted has nothing to eat. Oh boy. We got nothing. Day seven, no, 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 the rescue ain't coming today, but we'll get to you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you need to be careful. It might not be only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse, commies. <laughs> Just imagine what will happen if the Reds discover you. So let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open this door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Alrighty. Two knocks, everyone. Day eight. How'd it go? Did she bring back anything? A check is bored. And some food. Okay, good. A flashlight and axe. Excellent. She actually bring back some good stuff. Good job. Very good job, Dolores. You need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. And you need to make sure that you make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax or thinking about all those commie bastards who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The proud, was this Ellison, is it? Yeah, Ellison Hotel, well, Ellison Hotel either way, was completely destroyed. Piles of piles of luggage were li uh, lying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms or low, on low levels partially. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder there were a five-star hotel plus one soup. Every room was stocked with water bottles for guests. A few of them remained relatively untouched by the explosion, so we got some water there. I love how it says a few of them, I only got one. In what was left of one of the rooms, two figures were playing chess. One was a skeleton and the other was a man in some kind of metal armor. They gave us their chessboard, claiming they have a spare one. Only when we walked away did we discover that they gave us checkers instead of chess. What a sick joke. <laughs> one of the luggage bags was filled with a wide array of different flashlight models. Excited, we tried them all, but only one was in working condition. The lobby was mostly destroyed and barely anything could be found on the floor, except for one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an ax in his hand. Ted is hungry. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Dolores has not eaten in a while. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. I only have one thing of water. I only have one thing of water, bro. Like, this is the only ration I really have. Who needs water right now? I think she's hungry, isn't she? Hungry, yeah, Dolores is hungry. 
Hungry, thirsty, thirsty, and thirsty. Okay, so we can survive still. Day eight, as long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you on the ass. Even after a few days or weeks, consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. <laughs> All right, day nine. <laughs> I like this game so far. Okay, here we go. Day nine, if I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now. But be careful, this is a post-apocalyptic scenario and you never know what's coming. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is no longer thirsty. Dolores has not eaten in a while. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Timmy's no longer thirsty. All right, so you're hungry. Dolores and Ted are still hungry, everyone. Someone's at the door, you hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out sequences. Three knocks, do you open the door? No. We need two knocks. Just remember that, two. Day 10. Okay, we're still alive here. Good call, that wasn't a knock you were waiting for. Caution at all times, remember that. Be cautious, supply yourself, and maybe you and your family will be just fine, or at least most of you. Dolores has been putting on a brave face, but she must be starving. Ted isn't hungry anymore. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. And we've got absolutely no supplies. Oh boy. As you were counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. Do you open the door? Yes. This is two knocks, everyone. This is it, rescue, hopefully. The end, achievement unlocked, atomic drill. That was the end, we did it. The end, good job. You're safe and sound with our brave soldiers and now we can all have some apple pie, you deserve it. We survived for 11 days, day one, atomic drill begins. Day eight, hotel raiders. Day 10, successfully passed the drill. Done, I did it, now what? Now what do I do? Do we just, <laughs> what do we do now? The end, yes. Oh, there we go, click the arrow. <laughs> I'm thinking, what are we doing here? You survived. Big soup there on the side, beautiful. End adventure, share your adventure. Let's go, end adventure. All right, radio, keep up with the world even after it ends. Dude, this is a pretty fun game. I'll give it that, guys. It's actually a very interesting game, for real. Um, what's memories? Nuke drop survive, zero. Perish in atomic explosion, zero. Wow, here's all like, the deaths and stuff. Okay. Very, very cool. People perish in the expedition, zero, 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 zero. So there's like a lot of people can die here. People perish during the nuke drop, zero. Water consumed, soup consumed. Average survival time, zero days. Okay, so... Dude, this is gonna be a fun series. I actually cannot wait for this. I really hope you guys are keen for this as well. What the hell's down here? Oh, it's the credits down here in the sewer. Look <laughs> at this little sh ventilation thing here, guys. Little drain. What's, what happens if I click the car? Settings, okay, that's the settings, no worries. Just clicking on random stuff right now. Little pizza on the roof there. Now, is that a Breaking Bad reference or not the pizza on the roof? I don't know. Is that the right show, Breaking Bad, where they throw the pizza on the roof? And electricity box there, I'm not too sure what happens if you click that. But either way, oh, trophy, what's this? This is a trophy room, atomic drill, complete the government endorsed fallout drill. Okay, so this is like the trophy room, I guess, for every achievement you get. I've got one at the moment. Interesting, you get the blimp at the back there. Okay, cool, everyone. Well, look, I'm gonna wrap it up here either way for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you all did enjoy. I cannot wait to get stuck into this game tomorrow uh, for another day, I guess, surviving nuclear fallout. I'll see you all in the comment section below, and of course I'll see you tomorrow. See you later.